Hey y'all, this video is to show you how to prepare my tea or any tea for that matter. So, of course, you're going to use glass jars because plastic is poison. Um, you're going to have your tea strainer handy. And of course, here's my tea. We have the water boiling. It's almost <laughs> boiled out because I've taken so long. So, let me get to it. We are going to use, well, for my tea blends. And make sure you shake it first, but because it's a blend, everything will kind of fall to the bottom, so you want to make sure you shake it. So I'm going to use a teaspoon, a heaping teaspoon. I mean, I, yeah, a teaspoon. Into the glass jar. Come with the pot. I'm going to pour the water over the tea. And you have to be quick because all of the medicine is now beginning to whew, fly out. So we're going to let it seep for about 10 to 15 minutes. Which I'm not going to actually wait that long. Because um, this is a video and I'm just trying to show you how to make it. So I've actually prepared another tea that has been steeping for 10 minutes. And I'll just show you how to drain it at that point. So after it's been steeping for 10 minutes, this is a little tea strainer. Um, I got mine from my local herb shop, but of course you can find any kind at maybe Walmart, um, Whole Foods. Walmart will probably be cheaper. So you'll just take the herbs, the tea that has been sitting here for about 10 to 15 minutes. You'll pour it over. So that the tea strainer catches all of the herbs. And now you are ready to drink your tea. And also there are a lot of people inquiring about what to sweeten it with. Organic Amber Raw Agave. But this company is the only one that does not use a processing method. So this is the only true raw kind. So you want to use this one. I do not add agave to my teas because I just don't like to mix it. But definitely, if you want some, it's okay to add it for taste. So I hope this helps you all. Please let me know if y'all have any questions. Thanks.